afternoon all, Mutton here again in the centre of Manchester for a pretty meaty clash in the Champions League between Manchester City and PSG. Now, I don't normally do home vlogs, but since there's no Leipzig away, because it's going to be behind closed doors, I'll bring you what will probably be the only home vlog I do this season. So, let's have a little bit of light refreshment and then head off to the stadium. and head towards the area of the city centre where I believe most of the away fans might be hanging out but they might have been bussed in for all I know and they'll be bussed straight out and I won't be able to find any of them but the reason I want to do that is because if you remember the vlog away at Paris some guy was randomly buying me beer and I would like to return the favour. Whether we can find PSG fans who are willing to accept a beer and be filmed well I don't know but I'll try and um I don't normally bring domestic food, but Manchester is good for its Asian food, so I'm having a little bit of Chinese before uh, I go and have a beer or two. little Sichuan stuff at uh, a restaurant called the Pin Wei, which is quite new. I've been here once before, so um, it should be okay. And uh, having uh, edited recently all these Galician videos, well, we had to go for Albarino to uh, wet the old whistle. So, here's to a city win. Cheers. And given this is not really a food video, a football video, I'll just show you the dishes briefly when they arrived and then we'll crack on. Okay. So that really was hardcore Sichuan stuff. Now, not really traditional, but it's something Manchester's become good at because of the vast number of Chinese students. So uh, that's filmed me up and it's beer time, but a few hours before the game, well, phew, or more to the point, two and a half hours before the game, can't find any Paris fans anywhere. Now, in fairness, when I was in Paris, I couldn't find other city fans anywhere. Are they being bussed in at the last minute? Oh, well, never mind. If I can't find anybody to buy a drink for and get a score preview, then it'll just have to wait till some other occasion. OK, so for those of you who don't believe me, I found some PSG fans, returned the favour that was given to me in Paris. Beautiful. There we are. Yeah. Pretty, uh, and score, pr score prediction for tonight? Score prediction for, I think it will be like 3-1 for PSG. OK. A big one. 3-1. 3-1. 1-1. One, 1-1, one. One, one. <laughs> pessimistic. Yeah. Anyway, enjoy the game. Je vous souhaite and bon uh, soir in Manchester and bon match. Yeah, uh, really enjoy. Thanks a lot. Okay, for that. you're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was a miracle, finding some PSG fans there. <laughs> Actually, quite a lot of them dotted around. And I took the tram in and there were quite a few of them on the tram singing some French songs. And whilst uh, the games, of course, here are normally full, I mean, tonight, wow, it's got a special atmosphere. All the foreign voices I've heard, some lads from Glasgow had come down for this, and uh, touts all over the place, which you see a little bit of, but not so much normally. So uh, bring it on. And uh, even with 40 minutes to go, I'm a bit worried I might not get in on time. I mean, these queues to get in, wow, they are absolutely enormous, but uh, hopefully uh, time for a quick slurp as well. It's an incredibly swift one before we start. I mean, this could go either way. It's a massive game and uh, I'd fancy City though. They're two to one on at the bookmakers. 
I think that's a little too short, though, with all the quality that PSG have. They probably have the better individuals, but we have the better team. Cheers. Well, Sterling's playing. That gives me the willies every time I watch City play. Pressure in them well, but uh, you just know that one loss of possession with all these dangerous customers they have could be fatal. So uh, keep at it, City. to go to Barcelona just let him go I mean what is he doing on the pitch again well half time the City have been on top felt like they should have got a goal great chance when they hit the post but uh, PSG they've looked a bit dangerous without having a clear chance uh, although Mbappe got free but thankfully spooned it over the bar basically they need the win we need the draw so uh, as long as we're careful and don't do anything stupid which we did once in that half uh, we should be okay so I've also discovered that Bruges of losing 4-0 at home to Leipzig at half time that means both City and PSG will go through but it's about who comes first in the group now apart from us only probably needing the draw if we can win in Leipzig on the last day although a win would do it for us automatically if you think of the dangerous teams in the round of 16 a couple of them are English Liverpool and Chelsea so um, PSG really need this more and they've not been doing too much attacking so uh, let's hope it stays that way Real shock of a ref booking City players in the first instant, never books one of them. So there we are, that was the danger, we're one nil down. And uh, they do have the danger man to put them away. And once that ball came over to Mbappe, it looked like 100% a goal. I'm sure we'll have other chances, but somebody's going to put one of them away. Running back onto the pitch, he's fine. Wow, 
that was a dangerous situation. We went to sleep there. You cannot do that against that front three. <laughs> Well, 2 1 to City, ball lost it over to Mares, who switched it immediately to the other side, flicked back to Jesus, he scuffed it, he miskicked it, but it doesn't matter, it's 2 1 to City, get in there, get in there. Three minutes of added time, come on City, see it through. Felt like it should have been more, but I guess they want the ads more than they do the fair playing time. That must be their last chance, surely the game's over now, I've counted for three minutes. Go on Rath, blow up for Christ's sake. So there we are folks, end of the evening, great night out, City played really well tonight and deserved their 2-1 win, I thought they pressured the Paris defence really well, generally cut off the supply to the three danger men, Mbappe, Messi and Neymar up front, who, um, they, well okay, they did score when they got the chance, but they weren't given many opportunities. And more importantly, in terms of the competition of the whole, finishing first in the group, it's quite important, less so for City, because I think there are basically five teams who might win the Champions League this season, which is City, Chelsea, Liverpool, PSG and Bayern. And um, had we finished second in the group, then we couldn't have faced some of those teams because they're from the same country. But Paris Saint-Germain, they could. And it's 50-50 as to whether they will have a really nasty round of 16 draw. So they could play Chelsea, they could play Liverpool, and they could play Bayern. Obviously, they can't play us because we were in the same group. So as I said earlier, home vlogs are very, very rare. Maybe if there's another mega game like this, I might do one. If there's something you want me to cover, well, maybe we can do it. But uh, it's likely that the football vlogs will just concentrate on away games as they usually are. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. It's been a great night, a great city performance. Please like, share and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. And until then, don't forget, you can't beat a bit of mutton.